NVIDIA could potentially be facing an investigation from the U.S. Department of Justice, DOJ, over antitrust concerns. Recent reports from Bloomberg, Reuters, and CNBC presented conflicting information about a possible DOJ subpoena issued to NVIDIA as part of a rumored antitrust investigation. NVIDIA's public relations team has denied that the company has been subpoenaed. However, just the possibility of such an investigation caused some selling activity in NVIDIA's stock following the news on September 4th. At this stage, there isn't much concrete information, but it might be worth it for investors to take a closer look at the situation. Considering what could happen if the DOJ does decide to formally investigate NVIDIA, it's important to think about how this could affect the company in both the short and long term. Let's explore how a potential government investigation might impact NVIDIA's business and how investors might approach the company's future if this situation progresses. I have three key perspectives on the matter and where this story could lead. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Take number one, NVIDIA may face some setbacks. NVIDIA is a somewhat diversified company, but the majority of its current business revolves around high-performance chipsets known as graphics processing units, GPUs. These GPUs are widely used in rendering graphics for computer and video games, data centers, and training large language models, LLMs, for artificial intelligence, AI applications. NVIDIA's H100, A100, and new Blackwell series GPUs are utilized by some of the world's most powerful companies. Tech giants like Tesla, Meta Platforms, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon are among NVIDIA's biggest customers. Beyond hardware, NVIDIA also has a crucial software platform that supports the success of its GPUs, the Compute Unified Device Architecture, or CUDA. CUDA integrates with NVIDIA's GPU chips, allowing for optimized performance. This software has become a key industry standard, widely adopted by technology engineers. As a result, NVIDIA now controls about 88% of the GPU market, according to John Petty Research in early 2024. Because NVIDIA's GPUs and CUDA software are so deeply integrated, it becomes challenging for customers to use GPU products from competing companies. While it's possible to use other software and GPUs, the performance won't be as efficient and finding engineers who specialize in alternatives can be costly and difficult. From a competition standpoint, NVIDIA's focus on CUDA working exclusively with its own GPUs is understandable. But from a regulatory perspective, NVIDIA's sales practices could be viewed as anti-competitive if regulators believe NVIDIA is using its dominant market position to suppress competition, they might step in. If the government takes action, NVIDIA might be required to allow CUDA to work more smoothly with GPUs from other manufacturers like AMD or Intel. This could divert NVIDIA's research and development resources from its own innovations and impact its competitive edge. This shift could also reduce demand for NVIDIA's GPUs, which would slow its revenue growth and reduce its market share. Take number two, the setbacks could be temporary and lead to long-term growth. While the first take might make NVIDIA's future look bleak, I believe any setbacks will be short-lived and could even lead to growth in the long run. Even if customer reliance on NVIDIA decreases, I see this as a short-term challenge. Why? Because competition drives innovation. If NVIDIA is forced to make its products more compatible with other hardware, it could open new doors for the company. NVIDIA might form new partnerships and expand into markets it hasn't fully tapped into yet. In the long term, NVIDIA could emerge stronger and more diversified with a broader ecosystem and reach. Take number three, AI and NVIDIA are here to stay. Lastly, I don't believe this situation will significantly impact NVIDIA's long-term prospects. 
Even if a government investigation proceeds, it could take several months or even years, and there's no guarantee that it will result in any major consequences for NVIDIA. It's also worth remembering that this isn't NVIDIA's first encounter with antitrust concerns. Back in 2020, NVIDIA tried to acquire ARM holdings, but the deal was blocked over anti-competitive concerns. Despite walking away from the deal in 2022 and dealing with the legal costs, NVIDIA has continued to thrive, as demonstrated by its current market dominance. The artificial intelligence revolution is still in its early stages, and NVIDIA is a key player in the field. While the company is seen as the leader in the GPU market today, technological landscapes can change quickly. That said, I don't see any immediate reasons to panic about the DOJ investigation or its potential outcomes. In summary, while NVIDIA could face some challenges if an antitrust investigation moves forward, these issues will likely be manageable. NVIDIA's position in the AI industry remains strong, and any government action could ultimately lead to more growth opportunities for the company. Investors should keep an eye on the situation but remain confident in NVIDIA's long-term potential. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.